First of all, I want to thank everybody who sent in questions. I, I wasn't expecting to get that kind of response, and I am absolutely delighted. So please keep the questions coming. I got a bunch of emails. I got some good hashtag Ask Dieter responses. That's my favorite way to get this stuff. I got some great comments on the YouTube thread. And there's all kinds of stuff that I'm going to be talking about in the coming weeks. But the thing I want to talk about right now was what a lot of the questions were about. And it goes like this. Where do you get off saying this stuff? Now, people said it a little bit nicer than that. They said things like, you say do things you love. What do you mean by love? And what about the people who don't get to do the things that they love? What's wrong with them? Or, or is there anything wrong with them? That kind of stuff. So I want to just sort of put all of those questions together and deal with the two key parts of that. First of all, I want to be very clear. When I say I want you to do something that you love, I don't mean I want you to find stuff that just sort of feels good. Because if that was the answer, then we would all just find ways to sit on the couch and have a beer all the time. Truthfully, that gets boring after a while. I really believe that you and I and everybody are made for creation and if you're in input-only mode for a long enough time, you'll get bored with it and you'll want to go make something. My happiest times are when I'm part of the flow, and I bet that's true for you too. But let me be very clear. When you love something, or when you love somebody, hopefully, if you're in a healthy relationship, you're not really even thinking about what you can get out of it. You're not thinking about input at all. Instead, when you really love something, what you're thinking about is, how can I give? How can I give all of the treasures of my mind and my heart and my hands to this relationship, to this person, to this job, to this situation, to this child, whatever it is? That's love. When you are concentrated on service and you get out of the way of income, all of a sudden you open the door for yourself to be fed and grow and learn in all kinds of neat ways because you weren't worried about it. And that's what I want for you. I want you to find a job, a situation, a way of living that lets you think about how can I add? How can I be part of the flow of creation? That's what love is, and that's where the magic happens. And the question that people have is, yeah, but there's a lot of people who don't get to do that. There's a lot of jobs that don't feel like I'm really able to give myself. That's just not the way we do things in this society. I want to make it clear that, first of all, I'm not here to judge. But more than that, I get it. I mean, we've all worked Joe jobs. I sure have. I've certainly done things that didn't feel like they were going anywhere at all. But I want to be very clear. I have three answers to that. Everybody, first of all, is different. I mean, I think that we're the same on the inside and we partake of the same life and love and all of that. But on an individual level, we're working on different stuff. We're on different paths. We have different ideas about what's good and we're at different places along the path. Let me put that another way. There are certainly jobs that I love to do, and there are jobs that you could not pay me all the money in the world to do. And I bet the same thing is true of you. But the things that I like and the things that I don't like are different for me than they are for you, than they are for somebody else. So part of my answer is that different people like different things, and so there's room for all kinds of expressions of this. My second answer is that it's okay to be on your way to something. In other words, if you wanted to learn how to be a brilliant chef, maybe the place to start is to get in the kitchen and start washing dishes and learn from the other people there. Maybe you don't want to be a dishwasher forever, but to get started is beautiful. So ask yourself, maybe this isn't my final place, but am I okay with being on the way to something? Can I see this, whatever it is, as being a part of my process? If so, give some of your love to it. If not, maybe it's time to move on. And finally, my third answer, my favorite answer to all this is, you know what, you're right. If everybody was doing what they loved, some kinds of jobs just wouldn't happen. And I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Would it be terrible, for example, if there was no such thing as Walmart or Starbucks? You know, because the people that work there maybe aren't fulfilling their mission in life. First of all, who am I to say? But you know what I mean. I'm trying to start a revolution here. And part of the revolution starts when people realize that they can live in a different way. Let's ask ourselves, the things that I need in order to live my life and, and do what I want to do, do they require other people to do stuff they don't want to do? Maybe there's room to grow. Maybe instead of shopping in a big box store, I can find somebody local. Maybe I can learn to grow my own vegetables. Maybe I can learn to serve in some way. There's a million ways that you and I can free up other people 
as well as ourselves. And that's the beginning of something really interesting, isn't it? What can you do today? Not only to find ways to express your love and your service, but also to change the way that society expects people to interact with each other, the way that the world is supposed to work. Because you know, as well as I do, that there's no way of the world. There's just what you and I choose. So what will you choose 